If you are a noob and have never mixed vocals before, then this is for you. If you have mixed vocals before, chances are good that you're actually doing a better job than me, and so uh, please help. What is up Yoshis? My name is Beth and I run Steadfast Descent and today I would like to explain to you how I mix vocals because I'm pretty sure I'm doing it wrong and I would like some help in figuring out how to do it. But if you've never done it before then maybe you can learn a thing or two from what I'm already doing and uh, yeah, I've definitely hopefully you'll learn something in the comments about how people are trying to fix what I'm doing. So the first tip to getting good mixes is uh, get a good recording. Now <laughs> I realize that this isn't exactly um earth shattering information but it's much easier to mix a good recording than it is to mix a trash recording and so if you just get good recordings then your vocal mixes will just you know do so much better the second thing that you need to know about mixing vocals is that if you have a lead vocal it belongs in the center of the mix unless you're doing something creative and interesting but uh, you know if it's the lead vocal and it's the primary sound that you're trying to do you want you don't want a band you want it in the middle so mix it in the middle now I admittedly struggle with this because I'm not so much a singer as I am a guitarist and so like as I'm mixing I don't want my vocals to sound the loudest I'm listening for my guitars and I'm like oh I can't hear that beautiful guitar part I need to like turn the vocals down so I can hear the guitar or, or more often than not turn the guitar up so I don't hear the vocals but no if you are singing a song and the song is about your vocals then your vocals need to be above everything else that is happening in the song and at least not in volume then like in focus the entire arrangement should be complementing what's happening vocally not everything vocally happening complementing the arrangement again this is if of course your song is vocally driven if you have lyrics and you have like a sentiment that you were trying to share this is how you should be mixing now the third thing that I would recommend you to do is uh, to find yourself some good presets my personal favorites are the a creamy lead presets which are in logic's legacy vocal folder there's a a creamy male and a creamy female and uh, I'm not really sure why they uh, do so much better um, because it's a preset and I kind of just said it because it sounded the best and then I tweaked it from there so the things that I do have on my vocal channel I always set a noise gate because I have issue with hiss and so a noise gate just helps my refrigerator not come into the mix quite as much as it would normally the second thing I have is an EQ and on that EQ I pretty much just have a low shelf Sometimes, depending on the song, I'll do different things with the EQ, but I try to keep it pretty simple because I don't know what I'm doing. The presets include compressors, so I just leave those alone and I do not touch them because I am afraid. Then uh, there's delay. I like to use the space delay because I pretty much just um, move the wet dry signal up and down until it sounds about as much as I want. And there's so many presets within that delay plugin that I just, you know, can play with it if I decide that it, the song needs it. But for the most part, I don't know what I'm doing, so I try not to freak out and I'm just like, okay, this sounds good enough. And then, because I am insecure and not a singer, but mostly a guitarist, I always add pitch correction. Now with pitch correction, you can just set it and it'll chromatically correct, but I usually go in and I choose the major or the minor scale and then the key of the scale so that it actually sounds like I know what I'm doing with my voice. And that is how I set up my vocal, my vocal mixings. Now I've mentioned that I have issues with my vocals. You might be getting the impression that I have no idea what I'm doing. That would be a correct impression. Uh, the way that I deal with the amount of hiss and the struggle bus of my recordings is basically I work really hard on my gain structure <laughs> and it still fails me. So on my interface my gain is set pretty high because the microphone that I have has like a really low gain gain and so like I make the sounds and they're really quiet so I have my gain turned up way high on my preamps. And then sometimes once I go into Logic, I also have to turn up or turn down the gain depending on how obnoxiously loud I was singing during whatever part of the song. And then oftentimes I also will throw on the Isotope RX Voice Denoise plugin because this helps also with the amount of hiss and static and white noise that I get in my vocal recordings. Now if I could just figure out how to get a great recording of my voice, uh, you know, this would all not be a big issue and I would probably not need a noise gate or this like denoise thing but as things stand that is how I am dealing with my life right now so if you if you know something that that I don't ab about you know making the things up please help or if you see something that I'm doing and you're like girl that's dumb let me tell you about it I would love to hear about it because I would like to get better at mixing vocals so if you are uh, trying to actually mix vocals here and not troubleshoot my personal issues go forth and find yourself your favorite preset and uh, let us know which one it is and what DAW you're using it in and why you like it so much and as you're trying your presets go ahead and turn on and off plugins to try and identify what it is about the preset that is actually useful and helpful to you and if this video has helped 
do it all. It helps me if you leave it a like, and if you're interested in learning about home recording as a solo musician, go ahead and subscribe. And uh, if you've made it this far, I'd just like to thank you so very much for watching.